After showing our trailer to our target audience, one of the pieces of feedback was that we should include some of our film reviews throughout to make the form more like a trailer, yet still conform to the genre. I watched some national and international social realism films to see what they commonly say and which newspapers and critics are used. I used the same shape for the awards that is on our website to ensure consistency and make it look professional. I then chose the awards Film of the Year 2018 and Best British Film 2018. I kept the reviews on a black background to ensure none of the focus was taken away and also to conform to common conventions of social realism trailers. I initially positioned the main reviews in the centre of the screen with the largest font size, then the newspaper underneath position to the right and the review in the top left. I use the Sunday Times and the Guardian as they are both British newspapers and occasionally review social realism films. However, looking back on these reviews, we decided that we did not like the layout so changed it to be staggered downwards and positioned centre. In addition, audience feedback from a website was that people liked the fact that the reviews came up separately. However, I had forgotten to change the names of the reviews so they all read Film Festival 2023. I changed these to the same reviews as on our poster, as well as positioning them to the left of the trailer to use the wasted space. This made it look much more professional and sleek. Some of our audience feedback was to change the reviews on our poster from film critics from professional newspapers such as The Guardian and The Times to more indie appropriate film critics such as British film festivals. Other feedback we received was to make the I am smaller in the trailer so it was more noticeably smaller than the other part of the title, Zada. We also made the tagline in the poster a lot smaller in order for it to conform better to social realism film posters and I did this by just changing the font size of the tagline, I am not a commodity, I am a human being. We had a lot of positive feedback about how our mise-en-scene was well executed. For example, the bruises on George's arms, legs and neck looked realistic. I think this is because I had practiced the bruises prior to the days that we had filmed. There was also positive feedback about the lighting in the basement and other props such as a mattress and condom wrappers. Also when receiving our audience feedback, we were told that one of our title screens in our trailer that read from Film 4 Productions was unnecessary as we had already included a Film 4 intro beforehand. Once I had deleted the extra title screen, the trailer looked a lot cleaner. In addition, some common feedback we received was about the last shot in our trailer, which was a close-up shot of Zada's face while she is lying on the mattress in the human trafficker's basement. Initially, we thought that the typography was difficult to read as it was black and merged in with George's hair. We found an image of a white brick wall and layered this over the shot whilst decreasing the opacity until it was barely noticeable, however still opaque enough to distinguish the title. The feedback we received, however, mentioned that it wasn't really conventional to the social realism and drama genre and so we decided to remove it. To make the title stand out more, we instead increased the shadows around each letter, which made them appear more intense. This is how the final shot ended up looking. Additionally, at some points throughout the trailer, some people noticed that certain parts of the voiceover were too quiet and therefore could not be heard, such as when Zada says... London is a scary place. To amend this, I listened through the trailer with headphones and either increased the voiceover or decreased the soundtrack to make sure that both could be easily heard. We also learned from our audience feedback that we conveyed the genre well and that the narrative was clear without giving away too much.